So I'm redoing my stereo system in the Chevy Astro, as you can hear. That's what the speakers sound like. All they do is crack. Not only that, the original CD player never worked since we bought the uh, van. So I'm just redoing everything. I just pulled this thing out. The radio still worked and that's what we used, but barely, used barely because the speakers are blown. So I got brand new speakers all around and I picked it up. This, uh, everything cost me $110 total. I bought a Kenwood, little aftermarket, pretty nice radio with a CD, MP3 player, it's got the USB port. I just did this harness, I bought it on Amazon for six bucks. Of course you have to splice 40 wires, well, I don't know, there's maybe 20 wires total. And uh, connect them together to make a little uh, harness like that from one radio to the other one. And then you need uh, also, you need an antenna adapter because the uh, aftermarket antenna plug is different. And then, and to top it all off, you need this little plastic face because this radio is, you know, the aftermarket radio comes out somewhere here. So this one is, uh, I bought the best I could buy. Oh, look at that. I was in shock. Made in USA. I I've, I've haven't seen anything plastic, made out of plastic, injection molded, that it's been made in USA. Maybe it's just a bag. <laughs> and then this just pulls off if you ever have to do this thing. It, there's actually not a single screw. You just pull on it and it all snaps. You have to lower the steering wheel down and put the shifter down to get this thing out of there. And then the radio, all it does is just uh, little tabs here, like that. I mean, there's other videos on GM vehicles, they're all the same. You push on both both sides and this thing just slides out. So anyways, let me finish this job. Oh, there's two screws, seven millimeter. You need, one is on, well, three actually, but I have one missing. One is here, one is here, and one is here. So you do need a 7 millimeter socket. But the whole face here has no bolts or anything, just comes right off. And you have to disconnect one wire here that goes to uh, the light control. So that's all there is to it. So I bought the, uh, the most expensive face, you know, this plastic thing, made in USA. And here's the difference. It's, it's for Astro, actually in manual it says, um, just so you know, Astro 92, 96 to 02, and mine is 02. And uh, everything fits, everything's fine, except look at this tab, how high this tab is that I'm pushing down. And look at this. And when you put it in, this, this little latch here that's supposed to catch, it's not even engaging. This one is, uh, as you can see, let's see, uh, give me a straight edge. Look how high it is. See? So now I have to shove some kind of piece of foam or something underneath here to push this thing up so it actually engages. Just little details. Anyways, here are the speakers. I, Like I said, I bought this whole thing. Well, separate everything, but it wasn't a kit or anything. But it was the cheapest. They were on sale for 20 bucks. So I got those in. And uh, so, yeah. Just uh, always something, you know. You buy stuff and you think it'll just fit your vehicle. And it slides in and everything, except these don't catch. Oh, well, I'll just shove something underneath. So, to connect the speakers, you actually have to cut off the uh, existing wire, which is, uh, you know, a GM uh, plug in here. And then you have to put this thing on because uh, the speakers you buy with, they just have a normal slip on connectors, like like so. So, uh, sorry it's dark, but uh, so you have to uh, splice some wires and connect them. But it only takes five minutes to do it, not a big deal. Bolt it in, and of course this one I broke off. The other one snapped on the inside, there's a rivet. It's a stupid design. See, this whole thing is... It's got four snaps, but on top it's a rivet. And uh, let me see, see that rivet, metal rivet in there? How stupid is that? And to take that off, this whole thing, you have to take this whole door panel off. 
I thought I could just uh, unsnap it here and pivot this thing, but this this ledge here will not allow you to pivot this cover. So since it was already broken in one place, what's I don't care, you know. I could even leave this thing off. The speakers are nice and they have these nice uh, covers too. But uh, I think I'm going to put it back on. It still holds plenty with the four snaps. This is kind of unnecessary. So bolt pattern is like six and three eighths. And it matches perfectly. Absolutely perfect. Fits right in. And uh, I've seen some posts people say, oh, Astro has the uh, five and a half speakers. There's no Astro with five and a half inch speakers. They said, well, the ones that have tweeters are five and a half. The ones without tweeters are six and a half. They're all six and a half. This opening here and this part is all the same in all Astros. I don't understand why people say it's five and a half. Unless some people measure this thing and they call that... Because yeah, if you measure this, the, the speaker itself, it's five and a half. So maybe that's what the forums... Because when I was looking first, I, there was so much confusion. I end up taking this thing off and measuring the existing speakers, which are just crap. And once I measure them, I realize they're six and a half inch speakers. So anyway, it's all done. I'm just going to put this cover here back on, which is very, very easy. You just hook it here, and it snaps in, and that's it. We're all done for today.